Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to solve percent problems using the percent equation. And specifically, we're going to take a look at finding a percent of a number. Now for the percent equation, we can use the percent times the whole equals the part. Now keep in mind, the percent equation can help us with any percent problem, whether we're looking for the percent, the whole, or the part. We plug in what we are given and solve for what we are looking for. This equation is a great way to set ourselves up for these types of problems. Now in this video, our unknown will be the part. Let's jump into number one, where we have what is 65% of 80? Basically, this is saying 65% of 80 is what part of 80? Is what number out of 80? I'm going to start by writing the equation using variables, and then we will plug in. So P for percent times W for whole equals A for part. Percent times whole equals part. Next, we can plug in what we are given and keep a variable for the unknown. Let's start with the percent, which is 65%. And we actually want to write the percent as a decimal within our equation in order to work through everything. We're going to end up multiplying here, so we want the decimal form. And remember, all we need to do when going from a percent to a decimal is divide by 100. And a quick way to do that is to move the decimal twice to the left. The decimal comes after a whole number. So the decimal is right here for 65%. And we move it once, twice to the left. So we get 0 0.65, 65 hundredths. So let's plug that in for P times the whole, which is 80. So 65 hundredths times 80. Now the percent times the whole equals the part, and that's our unknown here. So we need a variable, and we're using a for part, so let's put equals a. Now as far as identifying the different parts of the equation, so figuring out the percent, the whole, and the part from the problem, what I like to do in order to keep things simple is identify the percent and the whole first by looking for the keyword of. No matter how the problem is worded, what's given, or what the unknown is, look for the percent of the whole. When working with percents, we have a percent of a whole amount. So I like to identify those first and fill in the equation from there. So of is associated with the whole. And to take it a step further, is is associated with the part. For example, in number one, we have what is 65% of 80? So the part is unknown here. We have what is. So those are some things to keep in mind when it comes to percent problems. Now we solve. Well, our variable A is already isolated on the right side of the equation. So all we need to do is multiply on the left side of the equation. So 65 hundredths times 80. Let's come to the side and multiply this by hand. And remember, when we multiply decimals, we can actually start by taking out any decimals. Then we multiply and then place the decimal in our answer at the end. So we can just do 65 times 80. But I'm actually going to set this up as 80 times 65. I like putting the greater number on top when multiplying. Either way will work though. Now let's multiply. 5 times 0 is 0. 5 times 8 is 40. We are done with this 5 and we are moving over a place to the 6. So we need a 0 here. And now we do 6 times 0, which is 0, and then 6 times 8, which is 48. And now we can add. 0 plus 0 is 0. 0 plus 0 is 0. 4 plus 8 is 12. And then 1 plus 4 is 5. And now we need to place the decimal. So we go back to the original problem, 
and see how many digits are to the right of a decimal. And that's how many digits are to the right of the decimal in our answer. So looking at our original problem, we have one, two digits to the right of a decimal. So we need one, two digits to the right of the decimal in our answer. So we get 52.00, which is just 52. So we can leave those zeros off. A equals 52. So 52 is 65% of 80. Let's move on to number two. Taking a look at number two, we have 42% of 27 is what number? The wording here is a little different than number one, but we can go about solving this the same exact way. 42% of 27 is what part of 27? Let's write our equation. The percent times the whole equals the part. Now we plug in. Our percent is 42, and we need the decimal form, so we need to divide by 100. The decimal comes after a whole number, so right here, and we move it once, twice to the left. So we get 0 0.42, 42 hundredths. Let's plug that in to the equation times the whole. Well, we have 42% of our whole amount, 27. So 27 is the whole. So we need to do 42 hundredths times 27 equals A, the part. The part is unknown, so we need that variable there. Now we solve. The variable is isolated. So all we need to do is multiply on the left side of the equation. We need to do 42 hundredths times 27. So let's come to the side and we will take any decimals out. So let's do 42 times 27. Let's start with seven times two, which is 14. Then we have seven times four, which is 28, plus one is 29. We are done with the seven and this one. We are moving over a place to the two, so we need a zero here. And then we do two times two, which is four, and then two times four gives us eight. And now we can add these. Four plus zero is four. Nine plus four is 13. One plus two is three, plus eight is 11. And now we can place the decimal. So in our original problem, we have one, two digits to the right of a decimal. That means our answer needs two. So one, two digits to the right of the decimal, we get 11.34, 11 and 34 hundredths. So our part A equals 11.34, 11 and 34 hundredths. So 42% of 27 is 11 and 34 hundredths. So there you have it. There's how to find the percent of a number using the percent equation. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.